Hello guys, I'm Dr. Ranjan, your pharmacology faculty at Mero, and today I will talk about custom modules in the Mero app for FMGs. You know what is the main aim in an FMG exam? It is to cross that mark of 150, 150. And you might have seen a lot of your batchmates, your seniors get stuck in 130s and 140s. Today I'll talk about how the custom modules in the Mero app can help you extract that extra 5, 10, 15 marks to cross that magic line of 150, 150, right? So to begin with, I'll tell you about how to access the custom modules in the Mero app, how to make a custom module. At last, I'll tell you what is the relevance of each and every step and how one student can use that step to his or her advantage. So let's begin with the Mero app. So here I click Mero app on my device. Then I'll go on the top left corner and see the course that is selected as of now is NEET PG 6.5. I'll click over there and I'll go to the relevant section. For me, what is more relevant for FMG exam is edition 6.5 in the FMG section and done. Yes, I want to change it. Now once I change, your Mero app will automatically load the FMG section as it is there. Now, once the FMG section comes here to access the custom module, I need to click on the Q Bank section. And on the right side, top corner, you can see there is custom modules, right? Once you click custom modules, this kind of page, it will come as you can see on the screen. And see, to begin with on the right top corner, there are number of MCQs, like you can choose 10, 25, 50, 100. I'll tell you later when to choose 10, 25, lesser number or more number 50 100 so just for the demo purpose let me choose here 10 questions right difficulty level see it's medium i can go to the hard level if i want but for fmg exam we'll keep it in the medium level i'll tell you why later questions i'll select see all questions q bank mcqs grant test mcqs you can select whatever you want but i would advise to select all mcqs i'll tell you later why then i click next now here all the 19 subjects come, right? From here, you can select all 19 subjects if you want to solve MCQs of all 19 subjects randomly. Or if you want to select one subject, even two subjects, even three subjects, you can do that. For here, for our purpose, let me take my subject, Pharmacology, and then I click Next. Now here, tags, either you can use all the tags or you can choose a tag. For example, I'm going for FMG exam and I want more mcqs which are related to fmg so i'll not select aims i'll select res recent fmg exam you know neat pg fmg is conducted by the same board net board so i'll also include the recent neat exam plus here i will also include drug of choice in pharmacology and i'll include clinical questions in pharmacology and recent update i'll leave it in fmg is not important so Similarly, so I have controversial, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll just leave controversial questions. It's not more important for us. And suppose I want to solve problems, I'll leave problem as well. So I'll click on next and I get mode now. There are two modes you can see on the screen. One is exam mode, one is regular mode. Exam mode is when you have a definite amount of time, one minute, one question, and it gives you a feel of the exam, real exam. Whereas regular mode is simply as you would solve MCQs, by any you know any book or any uh, raw way of solving an mcq so here i'll select the regular one to solve mcqs where you can solve the questions look at the explanation now if i do that and create now see 10 mcqs module for mcqs click at solve right now see i get the first question here now i'll solve the question the mainstay of treatment of isoniazid overdose is now all of you know the answer is pyridoxin so we get the right answer here. So I get the right answer here, pyridoxin. Once I get the answer right, I can just look at the treatment. Mainstay of treatment is pyridoxin uh, and all other points. Now, if I did this question wrong, simultaneously, once I've done it wrong, I can review it and I can learn why I did it wrong. Right. So once you do that, next and next and next, and you can go to uh, 10 questions to solve all the 10 questions. And then at last, you'll get how many you did right, how many you did wrong. So guys, this is how I'm going to make a custom module 
right so this was an introduction into making a custom module i'll talk about how would i select the different parts of custom modules what is the aim or how am i going to decide what to select right so let's talk about that so let's talk about the first part the number of questions so you know you can see on the screen you can select 10 25 50 100 so whenever i select 10 to 25 questions it is relatively short time i can solve in 10 minutes to 25 minutes right so when is it that i'm gonna select these 10 to 25 now let us say uh, i'm studying a particular subject or revising a particular subject and i got uh, bored and need some time to reboot so let us say i'm studying medicine and i'm tired i want to relax but at the same time i don't want to waste time and i want to you know do something else something spice it up so in that case let us say i'm weak in another subject called as pharma right so what i can do is i can take a break of 10 minutes to half an hour and in that break since i'm tired with the medicine i'll try to spice it up with pharma in between and i'll not solve a lot of questions i'll solve 10 to 25 questions and those 10 to 25 questions i would solve will give me learning as well as it will be kind of spice up things so that i don't get bored with pharma right so by this way what happens is uh, I, I am able to solve few questions in pharma a subject which i'm weak at plus i'm able to keep my interest maintained throughout medicine now this has another benefit like for example if my pharma is my weaker subject is my weaker subject and in that case i would not solve you know uh, hundreds of mcqs in one day and bolus way rather every day i would solve 10 to 15 questions or 10 to 25 questions gradually every day and i'll space them in between whenever i'm reading another subject right and so that i can gradually master the subject now coming to the other part that is if the number of questions are more 50 to 100 you know it it will take more time so it will take around one to two hours so obviously i cannot do that in between subjects so when when i can take 50 to 100 questions uh let us say for example let us take an example here suppose i have completed some subjects right and now i'm moving on to other subjects and but i fear that i i might forget those subjects that i've completed so let us say uh now i'm i'm reading medicine i'm reading medicine now and i've completed three subjects like micro pharma and anesthesia these three subjects i've completed now i'm studying medicine and in the back of the mind back of my mind something is running something is running is that i've completed those subjects but i might forget those subjects till the time i reach to the end of my preparation so what can i do probably so that despite completing other subjects i keep on revising those subjects which i have completed so what i would do is every day those subjects which i have completed for those like micro pharma anesthesia i've completed and now i'm studying medicine so what i'm gonna do is i'll study medicine but in between that whenever i find time or towards the end of the day what i can do is I can make a custom module of 50 questions or 100 questions. So I'll select 50 or 100 questions custom module for three subjects which I've completed like pharma, uh, micro, and anesthesia. And I'll solve questions from all the three subjects randomly. Now, see, it, manually doing it is a little bit difficult if I ask you manually revise three subjects. But because it is an app, the app will throw questions at you from all the three subjects and you will be able to at least revise something so that is how you can use it so i'll summarize i'll be using 10 to 25 mcqs uh, i'll be selecting it if i'm weak in a subject and i want to do at least something some mcqs from that particular subject every day so 10 minutes so pharma is my difficult subject i cannot read a lot so can can i at least do 10 mcqs every day from pharma whenever i'm bored i can do that whereas the 50 to 100 it will take a little bit more time but i can use that to solve those three subjects or four subjects or five subjects or even eight subjects which i've completed but i have a fear that i might forget it so that's one part done guys how to select the number of questions now coming to the second part you have would have seen you can see in the screen the difficulty level now the difficulty level i told you that for fmg exam we'll select the difficulty level in medium i'll not go to the difficult part why what is the basic reason the reason being fmg exam it's not a competitive exam you are not competing with each other rather here everyone can come out as a winner that does not happen in neat pg or nsat 
so here just score a 50 percent and go out there but if you are competing for a particular rank in that case you need to solve a lot of hard questions as well so if i do the easy questions and the medium level questions my job is done for fmg so i'll keep the difficulty level at the medium right and coming to the next point so as i told you in the beginning that uh, the point comes where you can select in between so you can see in the screen that i can select either all mcqs or the bookmarked mcqs or gd's mcqs right now here while you are practicing mcqs and selecting 10 25 50 or 100 i would advise you to select all mcqs why all mcqs because you see in the current scenario in the fmg exam you know that the topics are repeated but the mcqs are modified they're from the same topic but they're a little bit modified now so that when i go to the exam i would have practiced a wide range of questions from a topic i need to solve as many mcqs as possible with different flavors and for that try to click all mcqs in this section right and there is another thing called as bookmark mcq section now bookmark mcq section you can select if you want to select only bookmark if you have solved a lot of mcqs and you have bookmarked those questions which you did wrong right so selectively you can do that for the bookmarked mcqs as well right now see select selecting a subject how would i select a subject so you can see on the screen the 19 subjects are there and i can select one subject i can select two to three subjects i can select 19 subjects how can i select so see choosing one subject i told you right for example i'm weak in pharma and i would not revise pharma in a bolus way i'll not do mcqs for five hours 10 hours a day i'll just do 10 to 25 minutes so i'll i'll select one subject pharma 10 to 25 mcqs i'll select and do every day but i have to be constant every day so that my weaker subject becomes strong so that is where i select one subject to make my weaker one strong so it can be pharma micro anything two to three subjects four five six seven eight subjects again i told you about that i'll select these number of subjects if i'm studying one subject and i have a fear that i i might be forgetting those subjects so at least i'll be solving 50 to 100 questions every day from those two three four five six seven eight the number of subjects let them keep on increasing you keep on adding those subjects right and uh, i'll repeatedly challenge myself with those subjects right 90 subjects see i can choose 90 subjects towards the end of preparation so don't wait for 19 subjects to be completed to choose 19 subjects when you have done at least 8 to 10 subjects or 11 subjects try beginning to challenge yourself with uh, all 90 subjects see because you might argue sir but i have not completed 90 subjects but you are a medical student you have studied those subjects in your school so you can begin challenging yourself by compiling those 90 subjects and you might not be able to solve all the questions it's okay it's fine you'll be at least learning from it second if i'm a repeater when i'll when i'll use those 19 uh, subjects from the beginning itself if i'm a repeater and i've studied all the subjects once then i can use the custom module i can use the custom module and from the beginning itself i can st start solving all 19 questions uh, 19 topics and uh, subjects i mean to say right now coming to another important aspect guys and it's a beautiful beautiful aspect i love it the most that is the tagging now select the ones i told you in the tagging section the ones that are applicable or necessary for fmg exam and this will help you to filter out those questions which are not necessary for fmg like you can deselect the aims and you can deselect uh, suppose uh, something you are not uh, the recent updates or controversy you can deselect those focus on the basics right and second what i can do here is uh, suppose i'm weak in a particular point like suppose i'm weak in numericals so i can just select numericals for pharma or let us say i'm weak in drugs of choice i can select drugs of choice or let us say i'm weak in the image based mcqs right so what i'll do is i will select all the image based questions and try to solve them again if i'm weak in image based questions i can i can just do this that uh, i'll select ibqs 10 ibqs every day and i'll make it uh, uh, a new a custom like it should be like your candy crush that every day you're solving 10 questions finally guys coming to the mode right mode there are two modes you can see one is an exam mode where uh, you'll solve a definite number of questions in the limited time 
And uh, if your aim is to test your MCQ solving ability in a limited time, go for it, right? Because see, a lot of students, after they come back from the exam, and when they tell me, sir, because of lesser time, I, I left 20 questions or 30 questions, I feel like crying, guys. Because it's a crime. It's a crime to leave MCQs in an exam like FMG exam. You can't. So for time management, if you have, if you have issues, you can do that. You can follow that. Otherwise, you can go regular way and you can see the answer and explanation after every MCQ. And this one you can use as a learning tool. And what do you mean by learning tool is, suppose I solve an MCQ. I've done the answer wrong. First of all, learn not to take it into a heart. Let it not, you know, touch your ego that why I could not uh, solve it right. Then it's okay. Even if I'm not able to solve it right, I will learn why I did it wrong. So the next time I'll not repeat it. Plus from the explanation, I'll learn something. So it's a learning tool as well, right? And uh, you can see that it might be one module called as custom module, but you can see the it has a wide range of benefits, right? It has a wide, wide range of benefits. And if someone can use this custom module, right, in the right way, as I have explained to you guys, right, find your weakness and use them right way, it can be beautiful. So remember guys, no preparation is perfect. And we just have to make it as perfect as possible. That is called as a near perfection. And custom module can be that one weapon in your arsenal to achieve that near perfection. Okay, if you guys still have any doubts with respect to the custom module, do let me know in the comment box or you can message me on Instagram and I would love to guide you for any kind of doubts you have. So please guys, it's my eternal wish that all of you, all of you, all of you, FMGs, you pass with good marks and cross that golden line of 150 and believe me, have faith in me, this custom module will be a game changer and I wish you guys would have learned by now how to use it and how to fill in the gaps in your concepts or memory or whatever you have. My best wishes to all of you guys. Lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.